What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today, we're doing episodes 151 through 154. Now, before we get anything, I want to say I made the very foolish mistake of calling the guy a couple episodes ago who was voiced by Uogen. I was like, is that Roshio? Because I knew I remembered him, but I didn't remember exactly where from. But no, it was just very brief. But that was the man who was having the little pie eating disagreement with Luffy and then stormed off. So I was like, I think he's going to play in a more important role, especially because he's voiced by such a predominant voice actor. But I just I was like, who, who, where did I see him before? But I just had to recall to myself. So we're about to fight Bellamy. I'm very excited. If you guys can see, we got a little visitor here. My cat Wilson wants to see Bellamy get beat up, I guess. So, OK, we got a little we got a little guest star on the show today. I am very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Don't forget to check out that Patreon full uncut and up to eight episodes early access. Let's hop right on into it. One Piece episode 151. Let's do it. Yeah, I mean, it is a lot of gold bullion. So no hesitation, Bellamy and Luffy starting this fight, spring, spring action, he launched right up, and now we're both on this rooftop. You have a point there, but Luffy's a different type of pirate. <laughs> there you go, there's your answer. Oh, I love this shot, everyone below and everyone up top, or those two up top, everyone's watching. I'm not trying to look at the title, you know? Little do you know, Bellamy. Little do you know, my friend. That's the misconception about certain anime main characters. They never look nefarious. Bring Snipe. He's about to find out that our other boy is also Gum Gum, also Devil Fruit. That projectile speed from that, from that spring is pretty crazy. Very powerful. I'm waiting for Luffy to turn around in his favor. Right now, he is on the on the defense. Imagine Luffy loses to somebody like Bellamy. Just absolutely like Crocodile is one thing. Arlong is one thing. Mihawk, but Bellamy? Fuck no. I kind of like this that shot though. Like if we're getting it by like a third person behind Luffy, and you can just see him just. That's kind of that's kind of a cool shot. I can't lie. You can tell Luffy's just getting more and more pissed. Your pathetic excuses for pirates. And just like oh, look at the fucking fist imprint on his face. Do I know how to throw a punch? I think so. Who's next, Sarquis? That was one punch. And he's out cold with still the finger imprints on his face. Oh my god. He was not holding back that strength. Yeah, you were talking about how fake it is now blue in your face. <laughs> All right, Sarquees, come on. Don't run away now. Come on. Shouts out Usopp, Masira, the Shoujo gang. So I'm glad everyone's cool. Because I was really worried about Masira and Shoujo. I literally thought they died. <laughs> He's still knocked out. Now we have to run all the way back so we can make it by afternoon. Please, please do something, Sarquise. I want to beat your ass too. The sky. Yeah, talking about delusional dreamers. Yeah, we don't have time for you, Sarquees. We're going to the fucking sky island, boy. However crazy that may sound. We're back with Mihawk. I defeated Sir Crocodile, one of the seven warlords of the sea. Ooh, I love seeing my boy Mihawk. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's like, oh, they're making steady progress. Uh, even though he's nothing like Hisoka personality-wise, he just reminds me of Hisoka. Just a super strong character who's just kind of watching your progress, waiting for you to get to that point where he can test you. Oh, Holy Land of Mary Hua? That's where we had the kingdom meeting with Dalton and Vivi and Wapole and all that. White beard and red hair. Okay, okay. We have a lot of world building here so far. What specifically is the Holy Land of Mary Hua? Mary or Mary Joy? I don't, I don't specifically know. The world government supreme authorities? The five elder stars? We're talking about white beard and meeting up with red hair? What the hell is going on? Red hair has to be Shanks? I don't know. I'm just starting to look at all the designs of these guys, too. They seem insane. The five elder stars. The seven warlords. They've called the seven warlords there. Is that where Mihawk is going? Oh, no. The Marines, the world government is going to start making moves on Luffy? This is some... We're meeting fucking is that is that is that donkey is that do flamingo with me i thought what i thought we wouldn't meet fucking do flamingo till like episode 600 don quixote former bounty 340 million berries he's another one bartholomew kuma almost 300 million i so he can control people elite admiral saint sengoku fire ass name with a fucking goat with a bell whatever two out of the six i would expect mihawk to be one of the two not do flamingo i've i've never even heard of bartholomew i won't lie but i've heard nothing but crazy things about this man Mihawk, ooh, 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 Hawkeye. That's all. He's merely an onlooker. Lafitte? Lafitte. And who would that be, Lafitte? Mr. Peace Officer, ex Peace Officer of West Blue? Yeah, so red hair is 100% shanks. This is red hair. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So this is a newcomer. Rockstar is his name. Part of the red hair, just like white beard pirates. That's I didn't even. Maybe I knew that, but I didn't know the shanks' crew was called the red haired pirates. 94 million berries, and he's a newcomer. Luffy's bounty, and like he's the bottom of the totem pole. So that's crazy. You ripping up that letter from Shanks? Oh, Whitebeard, let me see him. When did that kid? Oh, Whitebeard's got to be an OG calling Shanks a kid. He can come talk to me in person. And with some good booze, too. If I get to see... Oh, he looks way bigger than I thought. And I mean, like, physically. I didn't even mean that big. I... Edward Newgate. Oh, a different name. If you guys didn't know, Blackbeard, who obviously isn't Whitebeard, but real name in real life, the actual pirate's name was Edward Teach. And I know that from some other pirate shows that I had seen. But Edward Newgate, strongest man on earth. He's drinking crazy. He's got his nurse honeys right there with him, an IV that could fit me in it. He wants Shanks to come talk to himself. It's about Ace and Blackbeard. What is this world building? <laughs> We're back with Shanks. Some people would disagree, but I, facts. Shanks and the red hairs are going to meet 
Teach. Edward Teach? Wait, Teach. Teach has to be Blackbeard. Teach, Blackbeard, and Teach. So it is Teach. Edward Newgate, and I don't know his first name, but Blackbeard is Teach. Oh my god. This episode alone has been insane. Go Flamingo. We got to see Shanks. Mihawk. We got to see an Admiral Sengoku. So and now he's looking for us. Yeah. I remember Sniper Boy, and I remember him, the champion guy. So are you telling me Uvogin, one of my favorite voice actors and characters in Hunter x Hunter, voices Blackbeard? Are you telling me in this episode alone, we beat up Bellamy, saw Mihawk, met a whole bunch of Navy Admiral badass looking people, got to meet Do Flamingo, got to see Shanks again, got to meet Whitebeard, Martholomew, Lafitte, uh, and reveal, oh, uh, what? Marshall D. Teach. So whereas Whitebeard is Edward Newgate, Blackbeard is Marshall Teach. Whereas normal Blackbeard is Edward Teach. Interesting. And even this dude. The Reaper. Pirate Doctor. Fuck. So these guys are the real deal. We've seen these guys episodes ago. I'm flabbergasted, man. Marshall Teach. Huh. All right, I'm starting 152. I went back and I had to write down Marshall Teach because I want to make sure I got everything right. And I just realized literally 10 seconds ago, his name is Marshall D teach the will of d continues i don't know what the fuck that means <laughs> he had to catch the fucking beetle oh we got upgrades we got a little rooster hat with some whatever on the some flying model we, okay i like it that's funny Shout out Shoujo, Masira, and Cricket, and the rest of their squads. <laughs> it's a chicken. I said a rooster. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Same, pretty much same thing. Man, it's a smoker. Nah, we gotta thank all of you. 100% thank Shoujo. Masira, and I gotta thank Cricket as well. I would love to see Bellamy wake up from his being knocked out and just how humbled he is. I want to see Sarkis' face after Blackbeard slammed him in the ground too. Make sure those dreams don't die out. Shout out to Nolan, the rest of the Mont Blancs, and our boy Cricket. Setting all this into motion. I'm sure I'll see you again one day, sir. Which is what? Facts. I've always been one a believer of the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. Facts. You guys think about it. Just because it hasn't been proved it's not there doesn't mean that's proof that it isn't there, you know? That it, you know what I'm trying to say. Oh, we won't be. Oh, so they have like a, a giant raft. They really don't even have a ship yet. Or, I mean, they probably you Because it, didn't Blackbeard kill someone on Whitebeard's crew and then like escape, like leave? Did he gather these dudes afterwards or did he gather these dudes from Whitebeard's crew? I'd have to assume they're just their own. Like, he, you know. That's probably where we're going. 
I would be nervous as hell being one of the shoujo divers. See a sea king down there, just eat me. <laughs> if we were ever going to make it, this is our chance. Hang on for the ride. Get on the flow. And if you can get to the center, things should work out. Oh, I mean, I've seen whirlpools like that. Not like real whirlpool like in the ocean, but like they'll concave on itself and shoot out. But I, this is even crazier because it's an actual explosion caused by the pressure of the steam and the evaporated water from the magma down on the sea floor. See how scientific I sounded? <laughs> Meanwhile, this is literally happening. Jesus. I mean, to me, this is like when we first got into the Grand Line and we're going up the mountain, like the reverse mountain and down into uh, uh, Laboon and the whale and all that. Like, this is just as scary as that to me. So we've already done that once. We can do it again. Someone just beat up that sea monster, that sea king. <sighs> okay. Thank you, guys. You guys are the goats. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Wait, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Remember when we were talking to Cricket about it turning night and the cumulo regalis clouds that we were talking about the giants? And he's like, yeah, don't forget, forget about the giants. We'll talk about those later. He never went back and talked about them. So that's cool. An island in a dream within a dream. They're on the brink of death. And he's like, this is an adventure, to say the least. And here you go. Honestly, as like a roller coaster. What? Yep. You're about to get launched in the air. This is crazy timing. You guys, are they going to get sent to Skypea with us? Yes, it is. He's like, yeah, I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> I mean, you guys did work against the numbers, but you guys didn't take out Mr. One, who was a well-known assassin like Zoro. So, I mean, come, come on, that's the goat right there. I mean, we took out one of the seven warlords. <laughs> They're grinning. They're chasing. Yeah, you guys are about to explode. Okay, here we go. Usopp, you call that holding on? Nami, guys, get inside. Oh, well, okay. So, Blackbeard will be an issue later on in the future. I don't think he's... I don't think his boat survived that. That was quite the knockup. Wow. Looks like the sea just fucking used the Kamehameha on the heavens. Yeah, you guys get out of here. You guys get to safety. Talk about just the way we're getting to the next place for our next arc. Oh my god. Thanks to our new flying model, we're very aerodynamic, riding the wind. That's the Sea King from earlier. <laughs> that motherfucker is so dead. Spread the sails. Okay, playing the original opening right here. At least the original opening, like, pre-opening song. Ba, ba, ba. 
Hey, they're actually playing We Are during this episode. Let's go. One Piece! Come on, Miss Navigator. Let's make us through this. Come on. <laughs> Look at the squad. <laughs> Imagine Robin joining the squad and be like, this is this is the life now. This is crazy. We're flying up a sky ocean current to a sky island. Oh, look at that shot. <laughs> We're zooming out on everyone. This is just a different perspective, man. And do you want to be my friend? We are. Oh, damn it. I like that. That was really good. Fuck. Okay, on to the next episode, 153. As we literally zoom out of those skies, it's not night anymore. We're above the clouds. And so they barely survived on, on the singular log. At least he's got a devoted people following him. Because I would be like, bro, we're in the middle of fucking nowhere with the fucking log. So after quite the ordeal of them making it there, I want to someone get up and show me the surroundings. I want to see what this looks like. Oh, it's pure white. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> what? That's not how science works. Usopp died. Yeah, you want to talk about a story you can tell Kaya, Usopp? <laughs> tell her you went to an island in the sky. <laughs> yes. Imagine you jump in and you fall all the way through. Interesting. I wonder if I wonder if it's the same as normal water where devil fruit powers are limited, you know? That's what I mean. I was saying you go down to the bottom of this, you fall, and then you fall into the normal ocean. Because then she can use, yeah, to spread around off your, oh, sh the eyes on the arm for recon and scouting. That's so sick. Yeah, you most definitely can fall all the way through. You idiot, Usa. That is so crazy. Is Vainty 20, right? It's been a minute since I've worked on my French or Spanish numbers, you know? Goddamn creatures up here are scary. Oh, way it's just wiggling around. I don't like it. <laughs> so it's less buoyancy, but a lot harder to see. That's what I'm curious about. A ship just got demolished. Ooh, he is nice with it. He's over here handling Sanji and Zoro, even knocking Luffy into the ground. He's so agile with the bazooka. What the fuck is happening? I am the Sky Knight. Interesting. Okay, Mr. Sky Knight. It's like uh, the thin air. Um, 
kind of like training on different gravity levels in Dragon Ball Z. Like, this is going to be some good training for these people. Blue C, <laughs> like that's what they call it. White C. ここは危険の多い海だ。さっきのようなゲリラに狙われ空魚の餌になるのが落ちだ。ワンホイッスル 500万 there's other less dangerous men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are already here, you know. You know what? Usopp still has PTSD. One blow of this one whistle, and I shall come to your aid. But I will give you the one whistle as a present. I mean, we just call him the Sky Knight. Gone fall. Yeah, gone fall. Wow. Horse horse? A Pegasus. Woo! Shouts out the Sky Knight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shouts out Gone Fall and Pierre. Nah, you gave you gave us a little bit of info. But you know, we're like square two or three. Definitely not on a hundred though. No, no, do not. Don't you dare. Yes. I mean he says the white sea gets even higher, right? So we could theoretically could be a instead of a waterfall, could be a water up. They're like solid clouds. So we can use them as platforms, right? Yeah. <laughs> Talk about a comfy bed. Heaven's Gate? Okay, Heaven's Arena. Hunter Hunter, chill out. I just need to know what drugs Oda was taking back in the day for him to come up with this whole entire story. Because boy, do I need some. <laughs> what up, Granny? Ooh, is she an angel? Or maybe she's a <laughs> pickled plum. Maybe she's a sky person? Is there a race of humans that have wings? I am Amazon, Heaven's Gate Inspector. We think we got money like that? I thought you said Pang was the law. But, okay. But you just asked us for money. He's going to grab your boat and take you there. Express Lobster. And here we go. And I like how he's moving backwards, like how a lobster swims, you know, with its tail kind of goes back. Like, yeah, exactly. I kind of like that. Okay, Oda. Like, technically, can you see where he's going? Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Attention, almighty God and his priests? Seven illegal entrance into God's land, Skypea. So she's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, it's cool if you go and don't pay. I'm just going to tell them you are illegally coming in. You old, you old pickled plum, you. Oh, shit, what is it, Snake Way? What are we in, Dragon Ball? Come on. Come on now. Okay, on to the last episode of the session, 154. Godland, Skypea. 
I thought seeing the white sea and seeing the clouds was going to be crazy, but this is going to be Sky of Pia. Let's see what this moment looks like. Imagine watching this live week by week, like 15, 20 years ago, whenever this came out. Angels on a beat. Oh, I'm not supposed to read the title. I'm so... I always be forgetting that sometimes. God damn it, One Piece. Ooh, like the twirled vines or whatever those are going up. All right, so they're on the beach. They're coming on shore to Sky Island. This should be quite interesting. <laughs> That's hilarious. The South Bird's here with us. Someone will find him and take care of him. Okay, Robin and Nami looking all cute in the new arc. I like it. Yeah, I have a feeling over the next few hundred, few hundred episodes or so, we're going to be changing your perspective on a lot of things, Robin. That is theoretically true. I'm worried about other things that could chase us and do us harm, but the Navy and the Marines, as well as Blackbeard, I think we're safe on for now. It's puffy, not fluffy. That is a creature. Aww. Kind of like a little fox anteater nose weird thing. They're hitting them notes. Ooh. The music is beautiful. I would like to know how to play the harp. Oh, wow. Hey, hey, so is it? I know they have a different currency. There's not like a different language in the sky, people, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect so. Angel Beach. Oh, that's like a coconut. Give us some coconut water. Konush. Heart is iron. Cut it at the bottom and drink the yummy juice. <laughs> you know shit's gotta be good if he's making that face. Bunnies? <laughs> Sue? A cloud fox? Yeah, would you mind being our cultural navigator, please? Hesso was like, hello, right? Good afternoon, something like that. It's kind of like what Nolan was talking about in his logbook, right? Like a singular boat style thing that power uses like cloud technology or something to propel you. I don't know, but that thing, that thing seems fucking dope. The white white. So the one below is the white sea. This is the white white. Hagaya. It's like people who whiskey throttle motorcycles and bikes all the time, you know, you just and then I, you, you can't not <laughs> rev it. Yes, that's what I said. Or he might still lose his powers and die. Chopper, you can't do anything either. But she's the navigating goat. Ah, 
They're quarrying cloud. Yeah. I've heard that a mineral called the Sea Prism Stone exists in the Blue Sea. Yes. Because that's what nullifies devil fruit powers. You guys have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> so even though the old pickled plum angel lady at the gate told us that we're told everyone we're illegal and we should get God's justice, these guys, Connie's and Pagaya, are really, really nice. The, the top, the peak. Oh, it's like a recorder. It stores the sound. That's cool. Interesting. <laughs> Semi permanently makes sense, especially when powered by some ancient conch shell power. You know, this is the lamp one produces some light. I like it. <laughs> it's so like an oven shell. That store fragrance vision ones that store videos. So this is their like. Electronics. This is these. This is their machinery. It runs on dials. That's interesting. I'm telling you, man. I need whatever drugs Oda was on. There's no like. How do you think of stuff like this? Okay. I appreciate your guys' hospitality. But we might have said that beforehand. Okay. Might have been good info beforehand. But it's okay. Nami's not an idiot. She's not going to go into places that she shouldn't be going, right? Upper yard. Why? What do they mean by God? Because they're angels. And this is God's land. What do they mean by God? There's no way it's God. So, like, I'm so damn curious on this arc. Talk about starting an arc, a saga, which is one thing, like, even though we had technically Alabasta as our saga, we had a lot of miniature arcs in the middle of that. Like, we had um, Whiskey Peak. And we had Little Garden and, you know, Drum Island, the, the, the kingdom, all that with Dalton and Chopper, all that. And this one, so far, at least, we had Jaya for a little bit. And then we're right in the Sky Pia. We're right in the Sky Island. This is crazy. With some world building in there. Like, episode 151? Yes, 151, where it showed Mihawk, Doflamingo, um, Bartholomew. Uh, it showed, uh, let me fucking go to my names. Lafitte. Whitebeard. We learned about Blackbeard. Oh my god, there's so much shit. There's so many new characters just in the last four episodes alone. You got Gonfall, who's the Sky Knight, Pierre, his bird, horse, horse fruit, Pegasus, Connie's, her dad, Pagaya, Pagaya. We got Sue, the Cloud Fox, Whitebeard, Edward Newgate, Blackbeard, Marshall Teach, Lafitte, the rest of the three other uh, members under Blackbeard. Like, oh my God, we got to see Shanks again. We got to see Rockstar, one of Shanks's red haired newbies who is trying to bring terms in a letter to Whitebeard who wants to meet with Sh like, this is getting so crazy. I can, I'm, I'm still just flabbergasted that we got to meet Doflamingo this early. I don't know. I just expected we would to meet him to like episode 400 at the earliest. I'm loving this though. This whole cloud, the whole knock up stream current, how crazy fantasy this is, God's land. Like this really feels so different from the political drama that was last arc. 
so i'm loving this hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out that patreon early access full length up to eight episodes ahead i don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad peace out